Raiders. I'm Rylan Shear. And I'm Matea Pissarro. And I'm Mary Esther Brooks. And these are your announcements for February 13th, 2023. Grade 12 students, your grad is approaching. Please do three things in preparation. Number one, pay your fees. Number two, make sure Mr. Stretch knows your heights. Please see the announcement on Google Classroom. Number three, pick up your chocolate-covered almonds from Mr. Stretch. Attention all readers, here are the House Points teams for semester two. Oh my god. No. High school students will, will have points awarded with their block three teachers and junior high will be the same as semester one with their block two to three or four to five academy program teachers. House Yellow took home the top prize for a semester and they challenged the other three houses to rival them for semester two's winner. Thanks to everyone who participated in our first house challenge of this semester on PJ Day. To all students who wrote a diploma exam in January, your exam results have been posted to MyPass. Please sign into the system to check your re exam results. If you don't have access to MyPass, please step into student services and speak with Miss Blaine or Mr. Shute for assistance. Valentine's Day is coming up, Raiders. And on Tuesday, February 14th, it will be Touch of Class Day. We invite staff and students to dress their best. There will also be watery roses sold in SHQ for $4 of Valentine's And here's a rundown of your news you can use for your Raiders Athletics. Over this past weekend, our high school Raiders basketball team were in a tournament at Dr. N. Anderson School, and although the bronze final did not go the way they wanted it to as a team, a couple players still came home with some hardware. Second-year Raider Blair Sprague won the three-point shootout with an epic finishing round, draining 10 buckets to take home the championship. Great job, Blair. At the end of the tournament, Hunter Fitzharris took home tournament MVP. Great job, Hunter. You can see the Raiders and these high-flying ballers this Wednesday at home in the large gym as they look to make a final push for the playoffs with only a couple league games left. Link to three-point winning round. Tonight in the large gym, our junior high senior girls will play host to the team from Avalon. Come check out the action starting at 4.15 as these Raiders look to continue their hot play as a fate. Tomorrow in the large gym, both junior high and junior basketball teams will be playing against home get games against Thelma at Chelyfu School. Come support your Raiders as they look for some important wins in the league of play. Lots of basketball action this week, and don't forget that high school handball looks to get rolling in. The coming weeks, our Raiders team are looking to duplicate strong seasons like last year. If you are looking for more information, please see Miss Fenton, Mr. Wilheiser, Mr. Onsler, and Mr. Paz. And don't forget that high school badminton will take flight before the end of the month, and junior high badminton will begin early in March. Lots going on in the world of Raiders athletics. Please check out the athletics website for more info. Scan the QR codes around the school to see what's going on. For the weather today, there will be a high of 3 with a low of and these have been your announcements for February 13th. I'm Rylan Shear. But first, we're going to talk about Drake. Stop. That's for Black History Month, Mateo. Yes. And um, we have Drake today. Aubrey Graham, also known as Drake, proudly hails from Toronto, a place he has doomed the six. He is a rapper, actor, entrepreneur, singer, and songwriter. His most notable hit, however, wasn't musical. He played Jimmy Brooks on the popular revival series Degrassi? I don't know. The next generation of teen drama. His character was well-loved and so much that when he suffered a gunshot in the show, spoiler alert, this girl wept real tears. On a quest to start his music career, he left the show in 20, 2007, releasing two mixtapes at his departure. He quickly signed to Young Money under the guidance of rapper Lil Wayne, <laughs> and his music career took off. Despite being signed by Lil Wayne, his influence spanned many labels, artists, and genres. Drake has set multiple streaming records and has topped the charts many times. In 2012, he founded Ovo, October's very own in honor of his birthday sound. He is the global ambassador and is on the executive committee for the Toronto Raptors and can be seen courtside at all of their highest highs, including their championship win in 2019. His image and music is one of the notoriety. Drake has sold out countless arenas and stadiums globally, and fans love his work love his most popular songs. There's something to be said for fans that can belt out word for word some of his oldest hits in a packed stadium. And Drake never fails to acknowledge his mother and his father for upbringing and despite their divorce, credits them both for the man he is today. For many up and coming musicians, Degrassi fans and lovers of hip hop, Drake is a force to be reckoned with. And these have been your Vimy TV announcements for February 13th. I'm Rylan Shear. And I'm Mary Esther Brooks. And I'm Mateo! Vimy TV, Edmonton.